Welcome back, folks. It is 546 on this fantastic Friday morning. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump in the forecast for today. Taking a look at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, it's a little bit darker than what we're typically used to during this time of day, and that's just due to some overcast skies sticking around with us. And I'll be the first to stay, say that these overcast skies are actually going to be sticking around with us throughout the weekend, and unfortunately, we're not going to have any sunshine until the early work week. And taking a look at our weather headlines for today, folks, we've got snow showers still expected in some of our higher elevation areas further east of us over Vail Pass. In those areas, we could be getting up to six to eight inches of snow. And further north of us over those northern park ranges, Steamboat, Meeker, Craig, we are looking to have four to, or excuse me, four to eight inches and maybe even 10 as we get closer to that Wyoming border of snow accumulation as these storms finally kind of exit on out uh, for the end of uh, Friday into Saturday. We also have cooler temperatures expected for today and Saturday through Sunday. Sunday, we're going to have an increase in temperatures for the weekend. We do have a winter weather advisory sticking around in Garfield County as well as those areas further north and even eastward of us. So if you have those weekend travel plans, if you're headed anywhere past essentially Glenwood Springs, keep in mind that those roads could be icy and slick. Make sure to dr drive a little bit slower than you're typically used to. That rule at hand is whatever speed you think you should be driving, drive five to 10 miles per hour slower than that to make sure you're being safe out there and obey those traction laws. But right now our current temperatures on your morning commute feeling 26 degrees in Grand Junction, 16 in Montrose. Further east of us, we are looking to be 17 in Glenwood Springs, 14 in Aspen and a negative four in Gunnison. And these temperatures are going to increase to be a little bit closer to our seasonal average, but we're still just about five degrees shy of that four, of that typical 40 degrees on the high end, and we're rocking at 26 on the low end instead of our typical 19. And our national temperatures, we do have some cooler temperatures further north of us due to this cold front that keeps on moving on down from Canada. If we take a look here, this is due to this cold front that's kind of being pushed down by this low pressure system. And folks, if we take a look over Seattle right now, we've got a few storms hanging out, and those those are going to continue to kind of move on this way with that easterly flow and kind of hang out over that Wyoming and that Utah border to boogie on over to the western slope. Uh, and getting into our overall setup, folks, so uh, today the system is going to aid in snow for the northern Rockies. The afternoon hours, it's going to continue to give those northern Rockies a little bit of some snowfall. And the evening hours is where it's finally going to fizzle on out, moving to that northeastern corner of Colorado. And into tomorrow, the system that I was just chatting about is going to start moving on down from the northwest, more focused over Montana and that Wyoming border. The afternoon hours, it's going to continue to move inland, getting closer and closer to the western slope. And the evening hours of Saturday are what's finally going to get real close to our border and shimmy on into the western slope come late Sunday. But our snow potential, folks, we are looking uh, to have just a little bit of uh, essentially six to eight inches over those northern mountains, if you notice there, under that uh, upper level system track is where we're going to get the majority of that accumulation for the rest of uh, the weekend. Those overcast skies are here to stick around, but we are going to get closer to those seasonal averages, closer to that 40s, and the early work week has those storms on the way with some sunshine as well.